The early 14th century in England was a period of great political turmoil, marked by power struggles, betrayal, and brutal executions. One of the most infamous figures from this era is Hugh Dispenser the Younger, whose meteoric rise to power was matched only by his catastrophic fall and gruesome end. Hugh Dispenser the Younger was born in 1286 into a noble family. His father, Hugh Dispenser the Elder, was a loyal supporter of King Edward I. Dispenser the Younger continued this loyalty to Edward II, becoming a favorite of the king. His marriage to Eleanor de Clare, granddaughter of Edward I, further solidified his position at court. Dispenser's influence over Edward II grew rapidly, and he soon became one of the most powerful men in England. He was granted vast estates, which he used to accumulate wealth and power. However, his rapid ascent and ruthless methods earned him many enemies among the nobility. He was known for his greed, cruelty, and manipulation, often using his position to enrich himself at the expense of others. Dispenser's actions as Edward II's favorite were marked by numerous crimes and acts of brutality. He engaged in land grabbing and extortion, seizing properties from nobles and the church through coercion and fabricated claims. He imprisoned and tortured his enemies, showing no mercy to those who opposed him. His involvement in the murder and execution of political rivals, including the killing of Thomas, Earl of Lancaster, demonstrated his ruthlessness. Dispenser misused royal authority to suppress dissent and advance his interests, leading to corruption and embezzlement of royal funds, exacerbating financial difficulties for the crown and increasing taxes on the populace. Dispenser's unchecked ambition and influence led to widespread resentment among the barons. They saw him as a threat to their own power and a corrupt influence on the king. This tension culminated in the Dispenser War, 1321-1322, a series of rebellions led by some of the most powerful barons, including Roger Mortimer and Thomas, Earl of Lancaster. The barons demanded Dispenser's exile and for a brief period in 1321, he and his father were banished from England. However, Edward II soon regained control, and Dispenser was reinstated. He sought revenge on his enemies, leading to the execution and imprisonment of many rebels. His return to power only intensified the nobility's hatred for him. The final blow to Dispenser's fortunes came from Queen Isabella, Edward II's wife. Isabella had grown increasingly estranged from her husband, partly due to Dispenser's influence. In 1325, she allied with Roger Mortimer, one of Dispenser's most formidable enemies, and began plotting against the king and his favorite. In 1326, Isabella and Mortimer invaded England with a small army, quickly gaining support from disaffected barons and the populace. Edward II and Dispenser fled but were soon captured. Dispenser was taken to Hereford, where his enemies were eager to exact their revenge. Dispenser's execution on November 24, 1326, was deliberately brutal and humiliating, intended as a stark warning to others. He was subjected to a series of torturous acts before his death. First, he was hanged but cut down before he died. Then he was tied to a ladder, and his genitals were cut off and burned before him. His entrails were removed and burned, and finally, his heart was cut out. His body was then quartered, and the parts were sent to different parts of the country, as a grim reminder of the consequences of treason. The execution of Hugh Dispenser the Younger marked the end of a turbulent period in English history. His rise and fall exemplified the dangers of unchecked ambition and the volatile nature of medieval politics. Dispenser's death was a turning point that paved the way for the eventual downfall of Edward II, who was forced to abdicate in favor of his son, Edward III. The story of Hugh Dispenser the Younger serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of power and the brutal lengths to which people will go to secure and maintain it.
his life and gruesome death remain one of the most dramatic episodes in the annals of English history.